everybody I hope you're having a nice day um, so today I'm going to show you my skirt collection my skirt collection my handmade skirt collection that said when I was pulling everything out I only have handmade skirts in my wardrobe um, so yeah let me get started where shall I start I'm gonna start this side um, so because I have so many I don't have every skirt on its own hanger um, so there's often doubled up skirts so I might have to take them off the hangers to show you them um, so this one is um, a rosy skirt so this is um, the rose just the bottom of the rosy dress basically in like a lightweight cotton and this is oh my gosh I forgot I had this this is um, the uh, full circle skirt from Sew Over It Vintage. The button me up, that's it, button up um, full circle skirt. Um, but yeah, in pink, and I've made it kind of a midi length. Um, up here I've got a box pleat skirt. I think this was like the Lizzie skirt original. Um, I made it out of our Rio crepe. And behind is the original, original pencil skirt, um, the ultimate pencil skirt which I don't know if it still fits me. Well, it doesn't fit me at the moment, but before I was pregnant, I don't know if it did fit me because it's like super tiny, but yeah, nice in the wool. Um, over here, I've got another pleated skirt, very similar to, um, let me take it off, you can't see. Very similar to the Lizzie skirt, but again, I just think, think I made it from my own pattern. It wasn't anything. Can't remember what pattern actually I used very similar to the Lizzie, um, Lizzie skirt and this is another pleated skirt out of this was a craft cotton but I just loved those colours this so it's quite a kind of light lightweight it's not medium weight but it's like quilting cotton weight that one here we have got so this is the box pleat skirt that was in so over at vintage um, I've got this in, this is in our luxury crepe in like a really lovely electric blue. So although that's exactly like the Rosie um, dress, you learn how to draft this pattern in the Sew Over It Vintage. And here it is again in this lovely strawberry, I think this is poly cotton, which I never ever use, but because it's got a lovely sort of stiffness to it, and I love the strawberry print, I used it that time. Um, here is the Erin skirt from my book, um, the Capsule Wardrobe City Break, the original one that was in the book, and on the back is a tulip skirt. Um, down here I've got a couple of full circle skirts, you might remember this, this was vintage fabric, I think it was curtains, um, yeah loved that and I made it super long, just a plain full circle skirt. And here is a cotton one, just, it's also very vintage looking, but it's just a, a normal cotton, um, it's not vintage fabric. Here is the other luxury crepe um, box pleat skirt from Sew Over It Vintage that was in the book. It's a midi length. And this is the Lizzie skirt in the cutout, gosh the light's really bright, it's in the cutout um, fabric. I just think that's so pretty. On here, we've got three skirts. So this was a watermelon fabric that we had in last year. And I just did some really big, big box pleats in that. Again, didn't use a particular pattern at the time. I think I just drafted it. This is my one of my favorite full circle skirts. It's my toucan, toucan skirt. Nothing like a novelty print for a full circle skirt. And this is the original button up skirt from my book so over at vintage in a lovely li uh, liberty fabric and it's got um covered buttons in the same fabric and it's um yeah it's got little match sticks on it love this one here we've got another full circle skirt i wear this with a little pink uh cardi or mint green cardi but it's a nice long one and on the back is another Lizzie skirt in exactly the same cutout fabric as the white, but in navy. And I have a matching shift dress top that I wear with this. I made this for a wedding. You may have remembered last year, the year before. Can't remember when that was. 
down here. You may remember this, I made that relatively recently whilst I've been pregnant. This was my jazzy uh, Christmas party skirt. And here is another uh, box pleat skirt. Again, just like the rosy one, in a lovely crepe, but very 1940s fabric that. Love that print. Here we've got um, a lace full circle skirt and it's got, it's just I've left it cut on the bottom edge and I've got a rayon kind of underlay but I did have a matching top but it shrank in the wash. Um, and this is really nice, beautiful fabric, just a little again full circle skirt in a midi length but yeah love this fabric, very vintage. Almost done guys! <laughs> Um, this is the beautiful fabric from Till the Sun Goes Down and this is a half circle skirt um, but yeah love this and on the back also there is an Elsie skirt so from the Elsie pattern which is um, one of our new classes last year I made a Christmas kind of um, sparkly dupion skirt and then two more to go. There's definitely some missing. There's some tulip skirts missing here um, and some ultimate pencil skirts, but they must be at so over it. Um, so this is made out of our lovely viscose linen. It's a really nice um, ultimate pencil skirt. And here is one of the original tulip skirts that I made. And this is out of our Rio crepe, um, which I love for the tulip skirt. I think it looks really good. So, Sorry guys, the, the, the uh, sun is now gone and I'm in the shadows. So that is my skirt collection. As you can see, I have quite a few and I'm slightly worried that my waist will not go back to its size that it was before I was pregnant because all of these skirts are wasted and they all require my w original waist which was 27 inches. Um, so fingers crossed, it goes back to that. Um, but I hope you found that interesting, guys. Um, and I will see you soon, I'm sure. Bye!